Just eight months ago, Juliana Mokone was one of the thousands of unemployed residents in the Free State's biggest township, Botabelo. At the same time, two young wannabe entrepreneurs from Bloemfontein decided it was time to give their dreams some wings. We felt, listen, beds are being bought every day, you gotta sleep. You know, uh, it, it either had to be food or a bed. You know what I'm saying? You either have to sleep or, and, and you have to eat. Their risk has paid off. And today, they run King's Comfort, a bid factory that employs 70 people. Mokone is one of them. Now I, I can be able to, to support my children, to pay for the fees for my children, so my, my life really has changed. I'm very happy. King's Comfort not only offers high quality bids at a fraction of the market price, its distribution model turns the concept of franchising on its head. The company identifies families in need. They're given training in how to run a small business. After building an extension to their homes, suddenly they've created an exclusive sale point with no overheads and lots of demand. You get to become a franchise owner. You get to employ within your community. Those are the benefits for the person who owns it. And for us, it, it, it puts us closer to our market. Instead of us say, sending the putting the shops in, in, in towns. I mean, um, difficult as it is for um, our customers to get to town. The Free State Government hopes young dreamers like Mulefe will benefit from a visit by a Chinese business and investment delegation. We have, we have small businesses. We have uh, medium and big business from mining, manufacturing, industries, to name but a few. Uh, that will interact with these hundred uh, companies from the, the People's Republic of China. Potential investment opportunities are expected to reach billions of rand, and government officials say fears that China is buying up Africa are unfounded. Our business people, together with the foreigners that are here, under one roof, and we agreed that uh, we are going to coexist, learn from each other, they will have a very warm welcome from our people, that I can assure you, because we, we now are a participant in the global economic issues. Given the tourism income generated during the trip, as well as the knowledge exchange between Chinese and local universities, government says the 7 million rand cost of hosting the visitors is money well spent. Olkatsia, Bloemfontein.